Welcome back to a brand new coffee tech break with Jan. Good to see you back on my channel again. I think I got another great video for you lined up because I want to take you through a brand new version of Microsoft Teams application running on the Studio X30 and X50. Now, before we jump into the bits and bytes, let me give you a little bit of overview. Uh, so in the 3.13, as one of my previous uh, videos, I will give you a total overview. So we got all the application renewed in there, uh, which were available at that point of time. But meanwhile, Microsoft uh, can bring out newer versions of that Teams app, similar to Zoom and to other video applications running on the Studio X. And that happened. So Microsoft uh, last week uh, brought out a brand new version, the 0606. Uh, and here's where I wanted to give you an update specifically on that app. So I will take you to references. So I'll take you to the release notes on the Microsoft uh, website. Uh, we'll take you to Teams Admin Center to show you those updates and also give you some tips and tricks. And uh, so I will guide you uh, through, this, uh, through this whole process. Now, if you like this type of video, uh, I recommend always to subscribe uh, so you will be up to date as soon as I publish these type of, uh, of videos. Uh. But also if you got any questions, uh, just put them under the video and I'll try to answer them the best uh, I can. Now, first let me jump into my computer and give you a bit of overview of that latest Teams application and uh, running on Studio X30 and X50. And of course, and uh, also soon on the G3500 and the X70. All right, here you go. So let me take you through the Microsoft website. And again, uh, what I will do is I will take you through all the reference uh, on, the, on the Microsoft website. So also the URLs, which are published here, I will put them all in the comments and the description so you have them available. So as you can see, Microsoft, just brought out a brand new release, the September release, and that is the version, I usually just take the last four digits, uh, the 0606. Now, what happened in there? I think some great things, because the teams make, yeah, crops now automatically, yeah, so when you are dialing in from a room, I think this is really powerful, because usually when you dial in from a meeting room, you got a sort of tracking enabled, it could be that you're missing out at certain participants in the room. So now automatically it is fit to frame. And so I think this is really powerful. It just recognizes that a meeting room and an MTR Windows, which already had this feature, but now also for Android, when it was dining into the meeting, you get that full view of the room. And so even when you're using some group framing or speaker tracking, etc., uh, you now should be able to use that optimal with those meeting rooms. So I think it's a really powerful feature. These are the first two which are available. Now there's also some improvements and bug fixes to video related issues. Uh, so these were probably some escalation uh, from, uh, from customers. What is also important is the support for Teams Room Pro and basic license. So you might have seen some of those uh, updates uh, on, uh, on the licensing side. I'll show you that also in Teams Admin Center, but these are, uh, yeah, these are also updated and available now. I don't think they're really engaged already and they're, they're give you some time and uh, some grace period time to, to be able to use them, but the software uh, they made that ready to, uh, to support those new licenses. Now, and for other known issues, so there's a link here, known issues on Teams rooms, uh, these are available. So I will put them in, uh, yeah, in the description so you were able to find them very quickly. Now let's look at Teams Admin Center right, to give you an overview about changes, software update, new licensing. So first what you noticed when you go into Teams Admin Center, it prompts you with this announcement about the new licensing and uh, very important. So you got now two new licenses, that is the basic, these for up to five, 25 rooms uh, and free of charge. And we got the pro license, uh, very important. So these two licenses uh, will, be, uh, will be introduced. Now, if we go to Teams Room on Android, 
Again, what you will see, you will be prompt with the introduction of the new license. So to be aware of that. So make sure uh, you review those new license options. Now, if you then look here in the table below, these are my Studio X devices. Again, here in the table, you see which licenses are attached to Studio X devices. And if you hover over that, again, it will tell you that the E5 is not sufficient. So if you got an E3 or E5 or any of the E licenses attached to your Studio X devices, these won't work. So there's no official like enforcement yet, eh, because of course customers need to have a sort of grace uh, period. Eh. But as I understand, it's all about when licenses expire eh, or the contracts expire then uh, you will be enforced to use those new licenses. So be aware of that. Also, there's a table here at the top, which you can hover over. You see the Pro, Basic, Premium and Standard. Now, Premium Standard will probably move away, eh? so it will be the Pro or the Basic. So make sure uh, you dive into the details. I will also put some references eh, in the description of this video, so you can, uh, you can check that out. Now let's check at the software update. So I got here two Studio X devices eh, registered here to this Teams tenant and they're both asking about an update. Eh? So let me click on this Studio X device. Again, eh, there's a lot of mentioned about the Pro license eh, and where Pro license will be uh, required. Now, if I then go to the details, there's a non-urgent update. So let me click on the update. Well, this update will usually happen after 30 days. And so if you don't do anything, it will automatically update. So you could set it to as soon as possible, uh, 30, uh, the default, or you can set it deferred to 90 days. Uh, these are all possibilities. But we can also force it manually uh, if we want. And here you see the current is the 2103. That's the one that's coming with the uh, 313 uh, from, uh, from Poly. And here you can update it to the 0606 version. So this is prompted when you have the 3.13 running. And I think that's very good to know. I got here another Studio X. Let me click on that to show you as an example. And that is prompting for two software updates. So let me click on that. And of course, here you see as soon as possible, for example, and here you see the manual update. And now you are prompt for two updates. So this is the poly update. Eh? So this is for the 3.13. Eh? So that is a possibility to push that uh, first out. And then you can update to the 0606. So you could also update, if you got 3.12 running, you could also update it uh, right here, only the Teams application. Uh, but I usually recommend if there aren't like any issues or something, uh, just make sure uh, you got also the PolyOS, the latest version, and then you upgrade uh, the Teams app. Now, this is only for your Studio X. There's another tab that is the touch consoles. Eh? Don't forget that under the touch consoles, we got the TCAs eh? that are hooked up to the Studio X devices. There's an, also an update right here. So let me click on that and you will see also two updates. And if I click on update firmware, we go to manual update. Now, what is important is the 067 is not the correct one for the TCA. That is another 3.3. 13 version. The one below, the Teams app, is the correct one. Uh, so I expect that this will be corrected very soon. But if you need to update, what I recommend is, and let me go to the Studio X web interface, go to General Device Management, and you select here Poly Support Site. And what will happen if you do that, it will find the versions specifically from the Poly Support Site. And also you'll find in the correct version of 3.13 for your TC8. Uh, so this is something in an in-between. So if you really want to upgrade that to that 3.13 version, make sure that you got the correct one on Studio X, which can come from Teams Admin Center. Uh, but there's a specific version, the 799, which comes from 
the Polycyte, which is not here in Teams Admin Center at the moment. That is the zero, uh, yeah, the 8067. But you cannot push that one uh, from Teams Admin Center. That is to be fixed. Uh, so that is good to know. But of course, you can always upgrade the Teams application afterwards. Uh, so these are just some of those tips and tricks. Now further, what I want to take you through is the Android 10. So be aware that that is coming to the Studio X series, X30, X50, X70 and the G7500. It's coming soon to you. Uh, so there's a statement uh, here also on uh, my colleague's blog uh, from, uh, from Uwe. And I will put a link in the description, in the comments, uh, so you're able to find that. And it's just being mentioned that we're going to upgrade uh, the, uh, the Studio X device to that latest version. There's nothing happening on the end user experience, uh, so that's all the same. Teams application is still uh, running there, but it's all just uh, being certified on that latest Android version, which got the latest uh, security patches, etc. Just to bring everything up to date. So just to make you aware of that, uh, because at the moment we got on Studio X, we got Android 8, and on the TC8 we got Android 8.1. But if you need to and just update your Intune environment and everything and you can prepare that uh, for that uh, upcoming release which is expected at the end of November or uh, before that. Here ends the coffee tech break from Jan uh, today. Uh, hopefully you uh, enjoyed it and gave you some tips and tricks on the latest and greatest on the Teams application uh, today. Uh. If you like this type of video, eh, I would say just like and subscribe eh, so I will keep you updated on the latest and greatest. I expect quite some videos. Eh. As I said, eh, we got Android 10 around the corner for the Studio X G7500 uh, family. Eh. So there are a lot of new uh, things uh, coming up. I will keep you updated on my channel. Don't forget to review the descriptions comments uh, of my videos. I put a lot of interesting uh, trainings uh, in there, references and anything uh, which I'm talking through in my, uh, in my videos. Hopefully you uh, enjoyed it. I at least enjoy it uh, to, uh, to keep you up to date uh, for now. Looking forward uh, to see you in the next video.